President and CEO of Winsome Resources. Chris, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. Are you enjoying the Miami heat? <laughs> yeah, I just came from Quebec, so uh, it was minus 40 last week, so oh my a bit of heat here is uh, really welcome. Better than the snow for sure. <laughs> yeah. Can you give us background on the company? Yeah, Winsome Resources, uh, we listed in about 15 months ago on the Australian Stock Exchange. And we've got, uh, well, we listed with three lithium assets, hard rock lithium assets in the James Bay region of Quebec. And what are, can you talk about um, your primary flagship project? I know you have four on the go right now, but mm. dive a little deeper into the flagship. Adena is our flagship project, and we knew there was lithium there when we listed on the ASX. There'd been some drilling, but very limited. We did a lot of exploration last year, uh, target identification, and then we started drilling in October. And almost straight away, we had a fantastic hit of well mineralized pegmatite, um, uh, roughly 160 meters that was full of lithium. We got the assays back on that early this year, and it was mineralized with um, the first 107 meters was 1.34% lithium oxide, which is a great grade. The market really liked it, and our share price in the last 15 months since listing has gone up 10 times. So the company's doing pretty well. And what are some catalysts that investors should be aware of? We're doing resource development drilling now at Adena, so we've got two drill rigs operating uh, and we've got a third one coming in. But probably the short-term catalysts are that we expect by mid-year, or just after mid-year, to be in a position to publish a maiden resource at Adena if we choose to do so. And what is Quebec like as a mining jurisdiction? I think it's one of the best in the world. It really is a tier one jurisdiction. Um, I mean, it's historically, there's a lot of gold and diamond mining in Quebec, so it's well set up for infrastructure, to facilitate mining, but the government's very supportive as well. Um, we get almost 40% tax credits back in everything we spend in our exploration, and the government's very um, very supportive of establishing a batteries materials industry. And of course, lithium's a necessary component of batteries. What are you looking forward to for 2023? I know you have a lot on the go, but is there anything that's exciting you for the coming year? Well, we just raised $60 million um, two weeks ago. So we're well funded uh, to do a lot, of, a lot more drilling on both our Adena and Canset projects. So I think the constant flow of news that we're gonna have with drill results from both projects will be uh, make for an exciting year, but also working towards a maiden resource being published at Adena is, is probably the most exciting aspect of, a, of what we've got in front of us this year. And what separates you from other mining companies? I think there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of lithium hopefuls in the James Bay region of Quebec where we are. I think what sets us aside is uh, we're well funded, we're re relatively well advanced, uh, we've been drilling for well, almost a year now, uh, but also the experience of our team. Um, I, I really can't think of a, a board that's got the hard rock lithium development experience that we have, uh, and that's really going to distinguish us from our peers over the coming years as we develop our projects. Chris, can you tell us about the structure of your team? Uh, we've got four people on the board, uh, as I say, most of us have lithium experience, uh, and we have a country manager, uh, and he's also VP of Exploration, who's a Quebecois, uh, very experienced geologist, and he runs our operations in Quebec, and under him we've got a team of geologists and field technicians to carry out the exploration work. Chris, why should investors invest in you? I think it's a huge opportunity for investors, because um, we have what I've been calling the trifecta of success factors, which sounds like it was dreamt up in a boardroom, but um, I think that really applies to us because the, the first success factor is that we're lithium focused. Um, it's a fairly obvious one, anyone who is has some measure of success. The second one is we're on the ASX and we get great support. The money we just raised was relatively easy to do because of our ASX support. And the third one is we know we've got a great lithium deposit, but we haven't yet got a maiden resource on it. And when we do, we'll have a significant re-rating in our share price. That's imminent sometime this year. Uh, so the three of those combined makes us a great opportunity for investors. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with our investors? The last thing I'd like to share is that um, this conference has been fantastic. The connections and the investors I've met have been wonderful. And uh, we look forward to a very exciting year with Winsome Resources in 2023. Chris, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much.